Hi, I'm Amy. This is House of Nash Eats, and today we are making sweet pork barbacoa. Okay, so we're going to make our sweet barbacoa pork by starting with a spice rub. Um, so here's how we do it. I've got a whole bunch of spices here and I'm just going to combine them in a bowl. So I've got some chili powder and some ground cumin and smoked paprika, some garlic salt, no garlic powder, sorry, garlic powder and some onion powder and then salt, pepper, oregano, and a little bit of brown sugar. Pork does really well with some brown sugar to sweeten it. And this is kind of a sweet meat and we'll add a little more brown sugar in our sauce. So we're just gonna stir all of those spices together to make our rub. Okay, so we've got a rub here and we've got a can of Coca-Cola. You could use Dr. Pepper or Pepsi or even root beer. Um, I'm just gonna use Coca-Cola. I don't like using diet because I feel like it gives like a weird aftertaste, but diet's probably fine. Um, this is just classic Coke. And then I've got our pork shoulder or a pork butt. And I really recommend using that cut of meat because it will give the best results that are moist. Um, if you use like a pork loin, it tends to cook way drier because it doesn't have the same fat content to it. The method that we're going to use is the same whether we're using the Instant Pot or the slow cooker, which is a couple of differences that I'll explain in a second. But we're gonna start out by rubbing our pork with our spice rub. Now, if you're doing it in the slow cooker, you can just rub the meat like this as one whole piece. And if you're doing it in the Instant Pot, you're gonna to wanna to cut them up into chunks just so they fit better and they cook a little bit more evenly. So I'm gonna show you how we do this in the Instant Pot, and then I've got one that I've already done in the slow cooker that I'll bring out and try it up and show you how we finish it that way. So for the Instant Pot, I'm gonna take this big piece of pork shoulder, and you can see it's got a big fat cap on the top, but it's not super, super thick, and that is going to just melt off as it cooks, so we aren't gonna really worry about taking that off or trimming it. We'll just discard the cooking liquid when it's done cooking. Um, and I'm going to cut this up into large chunks. So I've got a sharp knife, and we're just going to slice this up. Okay, once we've got our pork shoulder cut up into large pieces, we're just gonna take our spice rub and sprinkle it over the meat and try to keep it contained to my cutting board here. Usually I do this in like a nine by 13 dish just to kind of contain all of my spices. Um, you could actually do this straight in the bowl of your Instant Pot or your slow cooker too if you're using that. And we're just going to rub the seasoning all around. This is just so each piece of pork gets coated with the seasonings. It's also going to cook for a long time in your slow cooker or for enough time in the pressure cooker that the meat is going to fall apart and shred. And when you put it back into the sauce at the end, it's going to distribute the spices pretty evenly also. So you don't have to be super, super thorough about getting every little nook and cranny here, but it definitely does add a lot of flavor to the meat. So once we've got that done, we're going to add it to our Instant Pot. So I've got my Instant Pot right here, and we're just going to put the pieces of seasoned pork down into the bowl of our Instant Pot. And it goes straight down in it. You don't have to set a trivet or anything in there. And then any leftover seasoning, I'm just going to add on top of the meat. Okay, so now we're just going to take a can of Coca-Cola. We're just gonna pour this in, and this is our cooking liquid. So whether you're doing the slow cooker or the Instant Pot, you do the same rub, the same can of soda. I used to marinate the meat like for a couple of hours or overnight, and some say that it tenderizes it, but I've decided that it doesn't make that big of a difference, and with the long, slow cooking time, in the slow cooker or with the pressure of the Instant Pot, those flavors get in there and I just think the stuff is unnecessary. So I've taken that out 
and I just kind of simplified my approach. Okay, so we've got our meat and our Coke in here and we're going to put the lid on, lock it in place and we're going to turn the valve to sealing at the back. And then we're going to select high pressure for 50 minutes. Okay, so we've set it to 50 minutes. It's going to take a little while for the, you can hear the beep, that lets you know that it's working. It's going to take a little while now for the Instant Pot to come up to pressure. Once it gets to pressure, that 50 minute timer is going to count down. And when it beeps and goes off, we're gonna leave the Instant Pot alone and do what's called a natural pressure release, where we just let it slowly release the pressure all on its own for about 40 to 45 minutes. And at that point, you can turn the valve to venting, to vent any remaining pressure, there shouldn't be very much, and take the lid off. But I'm gonna set this to the side now and let this do its thing. And I'm gonna pull out another pork shoulder that I've already had cooking overnight for eight hours in the slow cooker and show you how we shred it from there. Okay, when our meat is close to being done, we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce. And all that goes into the sauce is we've got another can of Coca-Cola going to add that to our pitcher and then I've got a small can of red enchilada sauce a can of diced green chilies and these are just mild but if you like things with more heat you could use medium or hot and then three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar then we're just going to put our lid on and blend that until it's smooth it just takes like 10 seconds Okay, and we're gonna set this aside until we add it to our meat. All right, so I've got my pork that's been cooking in my slow cooker for eight hours, and so the meat is going to be nice and tender. I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off, and we'll pull out the meat and shred it. So you're gonna to wanna to use tongs, and the meat is super, super tender, and it will fall apart in chunks, even though I cooked this as an entire big piece of meat. And there's going to be a lot of cooking liquid down in the slow cooker. A lot of that is the fat that is melted off of the meat. Pork shoulder is really fatty, but that's what gives it the really like juicy, tender flavor. And we're gonna let that cool until it's cool enough to handle. And while that's happening, I'm just going to pour out the liquid that cooked off. Okay, and we're just going to discard this liquid. Okay, so you can see that the meat is so tender, it just breaks apart. Even when I just touch it with my tongs, the meat is just falling apart into shreds. So this is super easy to shred. Um, you might wanna get in there with a couple of forks. You can use two forks to just pull the meat apart into little strings. And if there are any large pieces of fat, just go ahead and discard those because you don't wanna include those in your pork when you put it back in your slow cooker or instant pot. Okay, so once you've got your meat shredded, we're just going to return it to the instant pot or the slow cooker, whichever one you're using. And you can see this makes a lot of meat. This is from about five pounds of pork shoulder, and it's going to be enough to feed easily six to eight people. But you can also double this if your slow cooker or instant pot are big enough you can double the amount that you're making and serve a crowd. So this is great for parties. It also is great to make ahead because the meat reheats really well. So you can make it a couple of days in advance. You can even make this and freeze the meat so you always have some on hand for easy burritos, quesadillas, tacos, nachos, salads, burrito bowls. You can use this in so many different ways. Once you've got that in the pan, we're just going to take the sauce that we made and we're going to pour that over the meat and in the slow cooker we're going to put the lid back on and let this cook for about an hour so the meat can soak up all of the enchilada sauce and brown sugar and coca-cola and really make a nice saucy meat that's flavored really beautifully if you're using the instant pot you'll just want to press the saute function and use that feature to cook the meat for about 15 minutes and then it will be ready to go. It still takes a while using the Instant Pot because of that long natural pressure release, but you'll have this done in about two and a half hours from start to finish in the Instant Pot. If you're using the slow cooker, it's going to take about nine to 10 hours total. 
So they both work great. One is good if you're just starting dinner in the afternoon. The other is great if you want to do it before you leave for work in the morning and it will cook all day long and be ready when you get back. Okay, so our favorite way to eat this sweet barbacoa pork is on salads, but it's so good on lots of different things like tacos, burritos, burrito bowls. Um, salads are just the way we eat them most often. So I'll show you how we assemble ours. If you go to a place like Cafe Rio or Costa Vida, they'll usually have a tortilla or a tostada base. We're just gonna skip that today. And I'm going to start with some black beans. And I have cilantro lime rice. You could use pinto beans, Mexican rice, whatever you want. This is just how we normally do ours. And then we're gonna put the pork underneath and put the salad toppings on top. So I've got our sweet shredded pork and it's really juicy and it smells so amazing. So I'm gonna do a pretty generous amount of the pork. Then I'll top that with some crispy romaine lettuce. And then I've got some homemade pico de gallo. And I've got recipes on my site for the pico, the cilantro lime rice, and the black beans. So I'll link to all of those below so that you can print those out and make the whole thing if you want to. And then some crispy tortilla strips some guacamole, and then I've got this cilantro lime dressing that is so, so delicious. Really easy to make, and I'm gonna drizzle that over the top. And then you could also add a sprinkle of cotija cheese, some fresh cilantro, kind of whatever you want to make the salad just how you like it. So this sweet shredded pork is something that we love from our favorite Mexican restaurants like Costa Vida or Cafe Rio. It's kind of like fast Mexican, but it's really delicious. And it's something that we make often when we're having friends over or doing a party because it's so great for making ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and have a taste and I'm just gonna get the pork with a little bit of that sauce. Mm. You guys, it's so juicy. Just the perfect amount of sweetness with the seasonings. It's super delicious meat. It's great in salads and in so many other ways. You're going to love this recipe. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys love this recipe. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more great recipes just like this.